I'm Dr. Randy Smith. I'm the president of the board of Texas Impact, an interfaith organization that works with religious communities here in the state of Texas. Um, we represent not only the Christian community, but also the Jewish community and the uh, Muslim communities in the state of Texas. All three of those great faiths have uh, a long-standing, centuries-old uh, opposition to usurious rights. Some of our traditions, as you've heard, also have in fact in the past completely outlawed uh, the charging of interest of any kind. We're not here today to say we want you to adopt the positions of the Middle Ages or even of the 18th century, but what we are here to say is that it is very important that we have just, fair, and payable rates for persons who have who are in a situation where they need a small help to get out of the ditch. Uh -oh. We care about these people because we know they have no voice other than the voice of the religious community who's come here to speak on their behalf today. This is a really a win-win situation for our legislature. They've been working hard uh, in the legislature to try and deal with a problem that we know is overwhelming. Um, how to deal with the some 25 to 28 billion dollar deficit that we're facing and maintain hum health and human services uh, our educational system and all kinds of things. And we understand they're working very hard with this. We have good news for them. This is something we do that won't cost them a dime or a penny. All they have to do is pass the legislation and protect the poor of the state. They can do good and it won't cost them anything. What more can we ask than to be able to do what is right and good and it not cost us a penny? So we urge our legislators to do what is right, to make it possible for the poor of our state, people who have gotten in a short-term problem and need a short-term result, a short-term way of getting out of that problem, Make it possible for them to do that without mortgaging their entire future. The food that their children need to eat, the, the medication that an elderly family needs, make it possible for them to do, to do for themselves without mortgaging everything they have for $300 or $400 or $500. Thank you very much.